Hey buddies, it's your girl at Christine and today we are checking out a Katsune video. Now this video is from 2018. I'm setting that at the beginning because people are like, oh, did you know this video was old? Yes, I knew it was old. That's why a lot of the other ones that are from years ago, I say it's an old video. But people are like, Christine, did you know it's old? Yes, bro, I said it. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, points to everybody who knows what that's from. And yeah, definitely hearts to those who know what that's from. Anyways, we are checking out the friend zone featuring the odd ones out by Katsune. I have been in the friend zone and it sucks. I've also been the person that had to friend zone someone who liked me and it still sucks when you have to be the person like if you're a person who cares because I'm a person who cares if you have to friend zone someone because they really really like you and you don't feel them that way but you're not trying to hurt their feelings you still value their friendship it sucks being on the friend zone side or having to friend zone someone so let's see what's in store. It is featuring the Adams out. So let's see what his addition to this will be. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Oh crap, hit my mic. Now let's get started. Ah, the friend zone. The thing every single person crushing on that special someone fears yes, like the plague. I know, I always see I these do. memes of guys being in the sad friend zone and what, they always friends? make out girls no, to be I oblivious to the fact that. that they're friend zoning the guy or that the guy even has feelings they know. for her. They Listen, know. all you members of the male species. A lot of the girls know. As a know. female, I'm going to give you a little girl secret. We know when we're friend zoning you. Yes. Hold on. Yes, what? we do. You're telling me oh, you a doggy. this whole time? Now, now, mm -hmm. now, before you get really mad at us for being mean or whatever. We're not trying to be mean. I say girls Some don't of generally us. do this to be mean. Right, Most exactly. Most people can't force themselves to like someone. Exactly. Just because someone likes someone doesn't mean the said crush is obligated to return the feeling. Exactly. By the way, I'm about to generalize a lot for the sake of explaining things in a simple manner. Okay. For a lot of us girls, it's hard for us to develop feelings for a guy. At least it is for me. So when I meet someone I think mm. will be an awesome friend, I want that person to forever be an awesome friend. Aww. I don't want to awkwardly break some poor guy's heart by leading him on when he clearly likes me and I right. don't. So right. when us girls are in that situation, it's easier just to softly friend zone the guy before he gets his hopes too far up I there. I know. My and then and then for her, because this video came out in 2018, her coming out video was definitely a lot sooner. So I, obviously we know that she does not have feelings for these guys. Um... Like, well, she does, she she may not be ha at that time because I know it could be a confusing ride for some people where they do have feelings for some guys, but they then they do have feelings for some girls. It could be both. Um, but, you know, for her, she was more into girls than guys. So and I for a guy, I don't know, as a guy, let me know. Or even as a girl, when you end up having a crush on someone who is not heterosexual, does that hurt more when they friend zone you and you find out that, oh, it's because they don't even like your sex, your gender? Or does it feel the same? Or does it hurt more for someone who's heterosexual? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, in whatever lane you're in, does it hurt more when you're friend zoned by someone who's not in that lane or in a different lane? Let me know down below. I want to get the consensus on that because I... I have been in that situation, but he never friends on me because he didn't know I had a crush on him. So that I, I'll put my my situation aside because the guy I had a crush on was gay. I was like in love with this man, magical, magical musical fingers. And I think that's why I fell in love with him because he's a piano genius. I got to check out, see what he's doing nowadays. Not to like just to connect again. You know, I'm married and I'm happy, but I just want to see what, what's his life like now. Nonetheless. I, was, I, I wasn't friends with him because he didn't know that I was, like, in love with him. He just thought we were friends. So for everybody out there, let me know. Are not to be mean or to act dumb or to hurt people. Mm -hmm. It's to protect not only mine but the other person's the, uh, feelings. Yes, exactly. So we can keep having this bomb friendship. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to tell some personal friend zoning stories. So okay. if you're out there somewhere and you were involved in this story and are still watching this video, then I'm sorry. Aww. Still love you, though but only as a friend. And only so as a friend. So a sweet. School, keeping this vague because I've been to three different high schools and okay. I don't want to make this too obvious. Right, right. I had a friend. 
He was pretty awesome. We got along real well, and we had the same interests too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I didn't think much of it. I'm not I never a... really. Considered I like how she said that in the background. Liked me because I have Look really low self esteem. Like how I cute. Like how cute. Get the vibes. Mm-hmm. You know you what I'm em. talking about mm-hmm. when someone gets all nervous and awkwardly flirty around mm-hmm. their crush. Those vibes. Yep, yep. The first emotion I felt was extreme guilt. Oh, this guy yeah. was so nice to me Aww. and awesome, and he was Aww, pretty cute. But I just adorable. couldn't see him as anything more than a friend. Aww. I had to awkwardly and subtly remind him that I only saw him as a pretty rad guy. Yeah, pal. you have and to. And I hurt my soul every time yep. I did this because yep. I felt like I was breaking his heart yes. every time. Yes. So, uh, you look really pretty today. Oh, you're so funny, ha <laughs> friend. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I love how this is an over exaggeration, but kind of not. Like in situations where I I had to friend zone someone like repeatedly, and it was that situation where when they said something, it's like, okay, quick, quick, quick. How do you like make this a good situation, but remind them that they're just a friend? Like you're just trying to figure out how to do it. I love how she's like, ha 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 ha. You're funny, friend. <laughs> Nailed it. Hilarious. Honestly, though, 10 out of 10 guy. I hope you find some special sweetheart for him to share his positive yes, and love to. I know. The next story is hard to classify as a friend zone story. It's more of this boy was notorious for cheating on his girlfriend all the time and oh. I was the next target, but I ain't trying to play games right. type thing. Okay. This boy. <laughs> oh, this boy. Okay. He was a typical dude bro type oh, guy with dear. abs and a horribly inflated ego. Oh. How do I know yet? Honestly, abs? this was so uncomfortable. He sent me these really awkward shirtless selfies oh dear on snapchat without warning oh dear I never respond to them hey in there. the dms <laughs> mm. winky face Mm-mm. what what this is so weird Mm-mm. what the heck mm-hmm. oh man but that wasn't the only thing he ever did what? that was the least of my worries uh, what I other would typically not respond to him uh, ever. Huh, huh. this little justification can be more accurately summed up as i'm too gay and boys are icky hashtag <laughs> coming out i'm bi by the way prefer girls okay so she's bi she just prefers girls because like I said, I ain't trying to play games. And he annoyed the crap out of me. Mm-hmm. But he would really awkwardly flirt with me every time I saw him. Mm. My anxiety would shoot through the roof oh, every dear. time because my mind would go, Over 9,000! Oh, no, not you! Oh. Mm, girl, you looking fine. Oh, goodness. Oh, I gotta go wash my pet tree. Huh? Bye! You gotta and go you wash your I was the only girl. <laughs> no. He also flirted with some of my friends. And oh, he did the course. typical dude bro type thing of oh, gross course. flirting as well. Oh, of course. I remember one time he happened to be standing in a group of my friends. Mm-hmm. I don't know how the conversation even got there, mm-hmm. but I jokingly said to the dude bro, oh, wow, you're so hot. I thought I was clearly being sarcastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone else snickered at my jab, okay. but later he Snapchats me. Hey, when you called me hot earlier, you meant it, didn't you? Uh, I don't know what to say. I remember uh, one time I got real sick of his cheating butt, so I dead straight said, don't you have a girlfriend after he sent me some mm. flirty message? Mm-hmm. Mm, this boy. What did he say? Response. What did he say? Uh, I wasn't flirting Whatever. with you. Whatever. Jeez, you didn't think I'd cheat, did you? Whatever. What? I have Whatever. I know you've been cheating on your girl. I had the evidence from multiple different females. Whatever. Okay? I ended up blocking him because, like I said, I ain't trying you to play You didn't think games. I was going to cheat, time, did you? I saw him and his girlfriend, though. She would always glare at me with this hate-filled look as if it was my fault, her boyfriend. Because he probably told his girlfriend that she, that Katsun, is all over his jock and he keeps trying to push her away. Because that's how when a cheating man, like, when a girlfriend is, like, glaring at the other chick, more times than not, either, either... The girlfriend snooped through his phone, saw what he was doing, and is and is displacing her hatred on the chick instead of the man, which you need to look at your mans. Because if you see the message, you see clearly, I'm not interested, but you see your mans. Be mad at him, okay? Or, or he is fronting to the girlfriend that Kassoon's on his job when it's the other way around. They think we don't know their games, but we know the games, Okay friend was a cheating scumbag. Mm -hmm. Girl, I did nothing. Don't get mad at me because your boyfriend is gross. Before any of you people that know me, IRL, try to guess who these people are, I'ma tell you that I've been to three different high schools and I've had similar experiences. That's a good way to cover it. Stop yelling at me, jeez. So don't even try Mm -hmm. to at me. So yeah, these were some experiences. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments, do you have any experiences with friend zoning? Being friend zoned or just weird flirting experiences in general. Let's all cringe together. (laughs) I love it. I love it. 
Uh, yes, I've had both. And it like exactly how she said, I had very similar sentiments in the aspect of when you have to friend zone someone you actually want to be friends with. Like you enjoy out, outside of the awkward moments of, you know, the whole flirting and the, them wanting to be with you and you not feeling the same. Everything else is great. Regular conversations are good. Um, the guy that I had to friend so could sing. We would sing together at church. Like it was, it was uh, like I, I really enjoyed his friendship and I loved his family. Like I knew his family, so it was it was very difficult, extremely difficult to friends on this guy, and it was painful every time I had to do it. But it's like I I I don't like you like that, and I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I wish I did. I like legit wish I did it. Yeah, it, I feel bad. I, I, and I think he's married now, so he's good. He's good. His life is good now. Excuse me. But for a while there, it was a little dodgy. But let me know your situations. Were you, were you like, um, Katsun, were you have only friends on people? Were you like me? Where you've been on both sides of that line? It sucks. Whichever side of the line you are, it sucks. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Katsun and James. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.